Good morning. We're going to look at solving some equations using logarithms. Uh, these equations, the top two examples, starting out with the natural logarithm, and we need to solve for x. And the bottom two equations are starting out with the natural base of e, um, and we need to solve for x. Here we go. Ln x equals 2.17. So we know that this really means, although this is not proper notation, it really means log base e of x is equal to 2.17. Now we can rearrange, okay? Rearrange from a log statement to an exponent statement. So e to the power of 2.17 is equal to x. Okay, so you could poke that in your calculator, e to the power of 2.17 and see what decimal answer that is as well. I will do that too. And that gives us 8. Point, that gives us 8.76. Get my things organized here. 8.76. So x is approximately equal to 8.76. But this is a perfectly great answer for a no calculator question. Okay. Second example, ln x equals a negative decimal number, negative 0 0.384. Again, this actually means log base e of x is equal to this number. And now we can change from a log statement to an exponent statement. So the base is e to the power of negative 0 0.384 equals what this argument was, which is x. We can poke that in our calculator, or you can leave this as a very acceptable answer. When we poke that in our calculator, we get 0 0.681. All right, now let's move on to the exponent, the natural base here with an exponent, and we need to solve for x. So here we have e to the power of x equals 30. We need to solve for x. So two ways we can go about this. We can rearrange into a log statement, or we can log both sides of the equation. Now, so I'm going to show you both ways. So rearranging into a log statement, we would have log base e of 30 is equal to x. Okay, that works out quite nice, but I haven't used proper notation yet. This, so x is equal to ln 30. And that's a great answer. Again, we could poke that in our calculator to get the decimal number for it, but we can also leave it like this, which is a perfectly acceptable exact answer. Another way of dealing with this is to log both sides of the equation. Now, before when we solved uh, exponent statements by logging both sides of the, ex uh, both sides of the equation, we chose log 10, uh, by just writing log, log, and then they automatically were in base 10. Because we have this base here of e, we need to choose log base e this time around. So we're going to ln both sides of the equation. So you could go directly to lining that, but I'm going to write it as log base e of e to the x equals log base e of 30. And then over here on this side, we can see Based on our rule that tells us, oops, sorry. Uh, based on our rule that tells us, uh, this rule, log base a of a to the power of x. Okay, so based on this rule, this whole left-hand side of the equation is actually equal to x. And then let's write this one in correct notation, which is ln 30. So again, the same answer. Last example, 3e to the power of x over 2 equals 21. So normal algebra, we need to make this as simple as possible right off the bat. So divide both sides by 3. And then that gives us e to the power of x over 2 equals 7. This is a lot easier to deal with. We can now choose one of these methods over here. I'll show you both ways. We can rearrange, so we would have log 
base e of 7 is equal to x over 2. Okay, this is actually ln 7 equals x over 2 for proper notation. Multiply both sides by 2, and we have 2 ln 7 equals x. And that is our final answer. Again, you could poke that in your calculator and see what, what approximate number that is. But this is an exact answer. Okay, second method by lining both sides of the equation, log base e, uh, do the operation of log base e on both sides of the equation. So uh, log base e of e to x over 2 equals log base e of 7. So then, again, using this rule, this whole left-hand side of the equation equals x over 2. Proper way to write this side is ln 7. Multiply both sides by 2, so x equals 2 ln 7. There's some fun solving equations with logarithms.